Alrighty, Boxster 986, we're going to do a, a test today to see how it fares in the snow. Um, first of all, unfortunately, even though it looks really picturesque at the minute, uh, to take the roof off today we're going to have to uh, get rid of a lot of the snow on the roof of the car. Otherwise, we don't want the snow getting into all of the electrical parts and the uh, wetting the electrical components underneath the roof. So we'll get the, uh, the snow off and we'll crack on. Okay, it is the ultimate question that absolutely nobody's asking. Is the box the 986 any good in the snow? Well, as you've seen, the snow has been coming down. We've got about five or six inches overnight. And it looks picturesque, it looks great. But I thought I'd make a quick video on whether the 986 Boxster is any good in the snow. Now, what I really wanted to do is actually get the roof down and then I'd get some looks. Um, but it's just started snowing again, so I'm gonna have to wait to see if it dies down and then we'll possibly be able to get the roof down if the snow dies down. You can probably hear that I've got the roof up. You can see that I've got the roof up. At the minute I'm on main roads, so the main roads have all been gridded, but I'm gonna go to an area whereby the roads still have a lot of snow on them. Hopefully send the drone up and hopefully have some fun. Now at the moment, I currently have my ABS and my traction control warning light off because a fault, uh, sorry, on, a faulty ABS sensor is causing this. So unfortunately, well, or fortunately, that basically means that I'm, I've got no traction control. So it should be even more fun. I'm probably gonna get so many looks from discerning car owners saying what is he doing in the snow with that car there's a few Americans that live around here so as I'm driving towards the location where I'm gonna put the car I am actually getting a little bit worried because I feel the snow is thicker than I first anticipated and what I don't want to risk doing is actually getting stuck in the snow um, Well, to be honest with you, I was supposed to go in there, but the gate is closed. So that has completely scuppered that idea. Um, we'll have to try and find somewhere else now. But so far on the side roads, it seems to have coped absolutely fine. Not really getting much slippage. I'm not putting a lot of gas on, to be honest. But it seems to be coping absolutely fine. I'm gonna go up a little bank here. So this might prove a little tricky. It's a bit slushy, but I'm getting up absolutely no problem. I'll try going down this lane here as well. This is a, this literally might be the end of me. But you know what, brakes on, brakes applied. If I slip, I'm going straight into 50, 60 mile an hour traffic. But, seems to be coping absolutely fine. There's nothing coming that way, so I'm free to slip if I want to. I'm gonna go straight over. 
where we're going to go over some tracks and this road is very slippy still full of snow keeping traction absolutely no problem whatsoever not a problem we'll try and go into a car park whereby the snow is going to be thicker but I'm driving over the thick snow I'm getting traction exactly where I need it I can't find the entrance to the car park Now I might be stuck. No. Yes, I'm stuck, am I? No, I'm not. Managed to get out of it. Excellent work. Well done, little Porsche. Got out of that one. This is a little car park here. Doing fine. A little bit of donut work. Reversing. Now, this will be the biggest trick to get out of here. Well, I'm pretty stuck. Yeah, I'm stuck. Oh, am I? Hang on a second. I think, you know, I've done it. Hey! There we go. How about that? I honestly thought I was going to have to get people to come and save me there. But I was just speaking to a couple of guys there, and they're telling me not, not to go down this little street because I'll get stuck. And I said to them, well, I've just been through and I got through no problem. So he says there's another two vans down there, I believe, which are stuck. But I've managed to get through no problem. So that's a good indication that the Boxster is actually pretty damn good in the snow. Whereas other cars and vans seem to be really struggling. Let's go this little car park here. to be working better in reverse pretty pretty much struggling when I'm going forwards actually I did okay there so I think if I want to get out of here I may have to reverse my way out see I'm giving it full whack there not getting anything but when I go in reverse yeah I'm stuck Seven thousand revs all the way. Let's reverse. I can reverse fine. So if I can just reverse my way out of here, let's see. Ah, now reverse is stuck. Trouble is, I can barely see where the path is. Oh, it's over there. Hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm stuck. Completely stuck. Oh shit. <laughs> to the path. Where am I? Completely churning up the snow. Hang on, here we go. So I'm going back here onto a main road. Hoping I don't slip, obviously. Hoping I don't slip onto busy traffic, but traffic looks clear. I'll just let it roll back onto the main road. Get in. Wasn't pretty. Wasn't pretty at all. But we did it. Whoa! Should we go back and do it again? Nah. <laughs> so given the car, given the fact that the car had no traction control. The tyres aren't exactly great on this car, they're certainly not winter tyres, they're definitely summer tyres and they do need to be replaced in say a thousand miles in any case so they haven't got much tread left on them, and much legal tread that is. I think it could pretty damn well. I'm fairly confident to say that if I was in one of my old BMWs I would have had no chance, I would have still been stuck in there. If I was in my Carrera 4S that would have been absolutely fine. I would have got out of there, no problem. There wouldn't have been any, any problems. Um, Golf GTI, well, who knows? I'm going to try and do a test in the snow with that as well. But this little box there did pretty all right in my book. <laughs> 